Hello dear students, welcome to Gate Academy. In this video, I will tell you some important information about the Fourier transform. This is very much important function sin at sin at upon pi t sin at upon pi t it's a Fourier transform it's a Fourier transform is nothing but rectangle pulse it's a Fourier transform is nothing but rectangle pulse from minus a to plus a rectangle pulse from minus a to plus a minus a 2 plus a with amplitude is 1 and here this is omega you can write this is x of omega if this is x of t guys so this is very much important reason sin at by pi t is nothing but the rectangle function it's a four dimensional rectangle function and its energy its energy is given by energy is given by simply a upon pi simply a by pi okay suppose let me take some question suppose i'm writing x of t is equal to 2 2 sin 3t upon pi t and someone is asking someone is asking to find energy of this signal so in time domain with the help of time domain formula it is very much difficult to find the energy of this signal so you can use this simple shortcut how to find its energy so energy of this signal now see there is an amplitude scaling here there is no amplitude, amplitude is 1. So there is amplitude scaling. So that's why 2 square energy is directly proportional to square of the amplitude. And here energy A equal to 3. So simply 3 by pi. So it is nothing but simply 12 by pi. In very small duration of time, you can get the correct answer. Okay. Suppose in the same way, if I'm asking to find what is the energy of the sink function. Suppose K sink sink f t sink sink t sink a t suppose i am asking to find energy of sink a t where a is again real number sink a t so what we can do here in this case first of all try to convert this sinusoidal function in this standard format so k into sine pi a t divided by pi a t okay so x of t will be see k upon k upon a into sine pi a into t divided by pi t now what will be the energy guys now you can compare guys this is the amplitude scaling see this is nothing but amplitude scaling this is amplitude scaling okay now sin a t by pi t energy is a by pi so here what is our a a will be pi a divided by pi t is there so what is its energy so here energy of this signal amplitude scaling that's why k square upon a square and here it is nothing but pi a a become pi a so pi a divided by divided by pi so pi pi get cancel out a cancel out so energy energy of this signal simply energy of this signal energy of this signal is nothing but k square k square into 1 by a 1 upon a k square into 1 upon a so sink at energy of the simply sink it is nothing one, 1 upon a and there is a k amplitude scaling k is present so that's why k square into 1 by a so this is the important result that you can remember guys okay thank you guys thank you so much